and I want to stream to camera one and ready to go. Hi, Paul Donovan here from avtechnician.ca YouTube channel for tips and tricks for AV technicians. Thanks for watching. I'm here today with Ruben and he's going to help me teach you a little bit about a room setup which we set up yesterday. If you like this channel and you want to follow us, click on subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. A thumbs up, right? Yep, thumbs up. Don't forget to leave comments because we love to hear from you. So today I'm going to give you an idea of a, an event that we set up yesterday and I'll show you a little bit of how the room looks. And then we'll talk a little bit about the operations and solve the different parts and so on. So this is a nearly a live event. Uh, we're actually up here today in Whistler, British Columbia. It's a ski hill. And last night they had 30, 30 centimeters, actually more than a foot of new snow. So all the doctors who were supposed to be here are up skiing on the hill and they left us all alone. And we've got about an hour before they come in. So I'm going to spend this few minutes to teach you a little bit about what an actual room setup looks like. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to try and take a change over here to camera number four. This is, I'm using PTZ cameras in case you're wondering. And these PTZ cameras has a setup where you see this is the wide room. If you look on the left side, you can see one of the screens. This is a fast fold screen setup. We actually have in the front is a bed because this is an ultrasound conference and they're going to be using ultrasound machines. And so this is set up and on the stage is a camera. Last night, Ruben was running it, today I was. And the camera is watching the doctor doing his demonstration. You'll notice on the floor, right at the front of the first table, is a very large TV. This is what we refer to as a confidence monitor. Some people refer to it as a comfort monitor. In this case, it shows the uh, slide the same as on the big screen. It's exactly the same concept. Okay, so then we're going to go to preset number two. Call, preset two, enter. And that's it. No, no, we'll go to preset one. Call preset one. And you'll notice it zooms up. Hi, this is us way over there. See, I love PTZ cameras, don't you? Isn't that amazing? I'm sitting here able to just talk to you if I'm going to zoom out just a smat, smat, smathering. There we go. That's great. PTZ camera. Ah. The, these cameras have 30 times optical zoom, so they can work really well in a very large room. Now, we're going to, now I'm going to switch to camera three, and let's see what kind of shot camera three has. Camera three. Yeah, so you prepare for camera three. So camera three, this is a view from the other side of the room. And this is, I got a shot, so presumably that's live. And this is a shot from the other side of the room. And the big thing you notice is we have AV carts with very bright 5500 lumen Christie projectors sitting on them, and they're projecting onto the screen. And there we are. That's us. Turn my eighth wave. Hi. Just like that. Now, so this is a, a typical environment. Now, I showed you in that shot the, the large fast fold screens. Uh, those screens also are very helpful. Uh, these ones are only the 7.5 by 10, and they're dressed up to 16.9 uh, format. We have screens in the company I work with as, bi as big as uh, 14 feet by, what are they, 11 by 14? Or something like that. They're, and they're natively 16.9 screens. In this environment, we actually have two screens set up. And then, of course, we have, let's, let's take a look at camera four and shoot. So if you look here on the left, we have two fast fold screens and we have a wall of a lower drape. These drapes are 16 feet tall and they're set up with a thing called pipe and drape. So we have uprights and cross pieces and on the floor are big wall plates, heavy, heavy metal plates. In this case, we're going right across the whole room. It happens to be this conference is an ultrasound x-ray department. So we wanted the front room to look dark. And so we have a wall of drape. On the thing in the middle, that's called a riser. Some people will call it a stage, but generally when it's a low level like that, it's just a riser. Uh, on the side is a set of steps. So those steps could actually be, if the riser went up uh, one more notch, 
it would be a three step set with the steps. Uh, that wooden thing in the middle there, that's a, a lectern. But way too many of my people that we work with, they call it a podium. That's people who argue about the semantics of the language. Next to the podium, we have a table. Oftentimes, people like to put their laptop on the table so they keep the podium lectern clear. <coughs> we also have a camera on a tripod. Normally, your camera would be at the other end of the room, video recording what's going on. But this time, the camera's sitting up there because we're actually capturing a ultrasound demonstration. And camera three has our tech table. And remember how I mentioned that this table here, the L here, is all set up for audio. So this happens to be a mixer. It's a uh, Behringer 24-channel analog mixer. The two that gadgets beside it are wireless microphone kits. The one that has loose sitting loose is a brand new one we just got from Audio-Technica, uses the new modern frequencies. The one further to the, to the right, my right, your left, is in a case, a soft case. Those are our older ones that we're not supposed to be using anymore, but our company has like 60 or 70 of them and we're just trying to get something out of them for a little while. And uh, then, of course, as we come across the visual, I like to separate my tech table with audio on one side and visual on the other. And depending on how the room is set up, I would have the audio is on one end and the visuals. And I try to keep things together so that I'm not ending up running left and right and left or right. Uh, you can't see it right there, but just underneath the monitor, that monitor there, there is a Roland video switcher and in front of that is a digital timer. We have two laptops plugged in. One is a brand new Windows Dell computer. The other one is a older generation, not too old, uh, Apple MacBook Air that is running the PowerPoint loop slides. So this is the tech table. Normally, we would be sitting at the back of this, of the, of this uh, room. Uh, I'm not usually like to be on the side, but in this case, because of what happens at this conference, I set myself up on the side, and this helped me to be able to run cables without having to run them over entrance doors and having lots of people walking over them. So it really helped a lot to have this wall of drape. Also behind the drape is where we store all of our empty cases. Uh, again, a very great advantage to the drape is a lots of places that had things have to hide. Now, we left Vancouver at 6 o'clock yesterday morning. We arrived here just around 9, took us about 40, 45 minutes to get the gear from the van up through a service elevator, up into the hallway and in, then into this room. And then we spent the next oh, three hours setting up the room. And because it was super cold, we couldn't set up the fast fold screens right away. We had to wait for them to warm up because all the materials all need stretching in order to fit. Uh, one of these days I'll be able to show you what a fast fold screen setup looks like. So this is just a general view of what an, uh, an event looks like. This one is a uh, low key, very casual event. The doctors are all having fun doing this. Uh, but it just gives you a sense. And then as you see us sitting here, uh, this is not unusual. During the event, we're sitting here doing nothing as we fall asleep. No, we're not supposed to fall asleep, right? Yeah. You fall asleep? You. Oh, me, I fall asleep, yes. It gets quite boring here because you've been do exerted yourself a lot and then you get you know, tired. And then here we have cold weather outside and s temperature changes and we've got altitude changes. We're, I think, 3,000 meters above sea level. So we got breathing, <laughs> breathing troubles. Okay. So there you have it. This is a, just a view of an, of an event and the event set up. So this is it for today. This is all I'm going to tell you about, and I'll have to edit this quite a bit. If you want to subscribe to the, well, don't just want to, just do it. Subscribe to this channel because you want to follow the tips and tricks that I've got coming up for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, yes. And don't forget to write comments. I'm Paul, and this is Ruben, and we are part of the avtechnician.ca channel on YouTube. Tips and tricks for AV technicians. Have a great day. And I didn't get the cut ready. <laughs>